Shalom. But I'd like to start by saying that God came from nowhere. And the reason He came from nowhere is that there was no place for Him to come from. Coming from nowhere, He stood on nothing. The reason He stood on nothing is there was no place for Him to stand. So, coming from nowhere and standing on nothing, He reached out where there was no place to reach. And He caught something where there was nothing to catch. And He hung something upon nothing and told it to stay. Got all that? Good. Now, when modern science tries to describe how the universe came to be, they invariably use words like quark, antiquark, quasar, and proto-galaxy. But when Job wanted to describe it, he simply said that God stretched the north out over the empty place and hung the earth upon nothing. There is an ancient word that will be useful for our story tonight. Stars. The Bible has a lot to say about stars. In fact, it tells us that the heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the ends of the world. It is tempting to try to describe to you just how awesome is this universe designed and created by a living God? For example, did you know that there are more stars in the heavens than there are grains of sand in all the earth's beaches and deserts combined? And just look at the immensity of the stars when compared to the earth. Draw your attention up here. Here you see our plants. I want you to try to grasp the awesomeness of God. Here is our earth. Pleiades and the constellations of the south. 
He brings out the starry host one by one and calls each one by name. And because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. The fact is that long before there were astrologers mistakenly looking to the stars to predict the events of their lives, God was using the stars to declare his glory. Melchior. 
They have been observing events in the heavens that are quite unique, to say the least. And they are on the brink of making a 